Hi there, John Montgomery here from Fiat Club America and BensonFiat.com. I wanted to show you the best side of this 2012 Fiat because it's under repair. This is a 2012 Pop with 58,000 miles, but unfortunately it's been wrecked in the front. It was hit by a truck, and I want to show you what I did to get the frame rail straightened out. If you can take a look at the radiator support behind this bar, you can see how it was impacted on the driver's side front. And basically there was some side sway here with the uh, frame rails. And what I did was, in order to fix this at home, what I did was heat that frame rail up with the heat gun and then with the torch, basically get it nice and warm and then took my lever bar here and pulled on it several times to get it moved over a couple of millimeters each time. And after about six or seven pulls, it's pretty much back into place. The other side also heated it up and moved it back over toward the driver's side because it had about a 10 degree pitch on it. Uh, the one on the bottom side is a bolt on. As you can see, there's the bad part I took off. Um, I don't know if that particular side is bent, but this side over here, you can see where there's a deformation right here, and that's where that uh, metal started to uh, basically bend along with the top half. But those are adjustable actually with uh, loose bolts. Those two uh, bolts at the back, you can actually loosen them up and move that a little bit, a few millimeters each way. There's the center support, and that's not the center support that was on the car. I left the original one on because it wasn't bent. That one's a used one, I just wanted to show you uh, so the bolts go up through. So anyway, making some really good progress. And um, at, believe it or not, the radiator and condenser are not supported, of course, just by some tie wraps holding them on. That's why it's crooked. But once I get a new radiator frame, I'll be able to center that up and uh, get it right again. But believe it or not, it's not leaking. It still has air, still has coolant. And uh, there's a cutaway of the parts car see that metal is not particularly thick that's why it responded a little bit to a little bit of heat down in the tube and uh, pulling it on this bar and so I was able to successfully move it back into position without a frame machine or without any extra expense so you know they say don't try this at home uh, you might succeed so there you are next thing we'll need to do is get a new front radiator support we'll have to get a a new hood of course a new fender for the passenger side and then a new uh, rubber bumper and crash bar since the crash bar is destroyed as well so we'll get all those parts together and we can put this car back together so there you go all right once again thanks for watching and uh, take care we'll see you down the road ciao